Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to give you a quick update. So here you have a bunch of batteries. Each one of these here is roughly 130 amp hours. 100 cells in parallel. And that may not sound much and it's only 1.3 amp hour per cell. But this is lithium iron phosphate batteries. This is how it looks. Copper plates on both sides. Uh, spot welded against the batteries itself with some kind of tab inside. It's a very very common way to get cells together. And no, they are not fused together. They have no fuse at all. And lithium iron phosphate batteries generally are pretty safe. They come shipped like this. Uh, this time I bought them second hand. Uh, actually they come shipped 4 and 4 in the original battery bank. Here you have 16 of them, and that will consist of a 48 volt system, 130 amp hours. The actual battery itself looks like this. It's a 12 volt battery where you have the poles underneath here. This is the bus or the serial port where you hook up the BMS controller to. So basically they are pre-built with a BMS inside. The BMS is quite simple, or actually it's not that simple. It consists of the resistors here that do the balancing. On this end you have a lot of temperature sensors to make sure that the battery stays healthy. It's also hooked up for voltage metering including shunt. So it does everything and it's actually hooked on to the system by these contacts over here. And yes, I got plenty of them. I got 12 more 12 volt packs. So that should be somewhere around 18 kilowatt hours. So it's once again time for me to get going and building more conversions to the Batrium pack. But 18 kilowatt hours, that's plenty and I need it. Over here haven't happened that much, unfortunately. Still two rows running and they are running fine. I did a complete test of them the other day when I did a live stream. I will be still be adding two more rows here, but I need to spot weld them and add all the fuse wires, all the bus bars and everything before I do that. A more interesting thing is this. This is the Raspberry Pi. If you haven't already seen my other video where I show you the Raspberry Pi with the Grafana, check that out. There is a new version coming, and it's coming soon. That version has a lot of differences or changes done to it. It have a complete system for monitoring and doing stuff with your MPP solar products. It can do the protocol a lot easier and it even writes stuff to the inverters and charge control it itself. And that means you can control it. There is also new software for the Batrium part included. And that will be in another video, but stay tuned for that one so you don't miss it. Don't forget to subscribe, that's my tip. My new controller box for actual incoming power is taking shape. It will go in here, be distributed to the inverter and back again. I will be able to manually flip between the sources and I will be able to meter every output. There will be one more meter here. There will be an automatic switch here as well. So still a lot of work to do and I'm waiting for one of the electric company. My electrician have been here and installed the first part. So we are getting there. And here we have some other interesting parts. Let's start with this box here. So basically, I couldn't resuscitate and I did buy this internal resistance tester. It is said to be quite good. So I'm going to test this one as well. And I'm going to compare it to my Opus chargers and also my iCharger. So stay tuned for that video. As you can see here, I have two shunts. I have my big shunt here that is around 300 amp and a smaller one for 200 amp. This one will go to my big battery bank and this one to my smaller. And they will balance out pretty good. I have ongoing video for my third, I think, for the shunt chip based on the Batrium software. So stay tuned for that well as well. As you can see guys, I have a lot ongoing. And I mean a lot. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on anything. There is a lot of videos ongoing and if you have any suggestion on what you want to see, just type in the comments down below and I will take a look at it. Once again guys, this was a very very quick update on where I am today and kind of where I am going. So stay tuned for more videos and I see you next time. Bye!